What the fuck's going on my dudes? It's your boy Chris Thrash back at it again. If you haven't seen our most previous video, I just did my top 10 of 2021. I want to know what you guys thought of my list. Did you guys have any recommendations that weren't on mine? If so, leave a comment in the comment box down below. Now, this video being brought to you by Hell Unleashed and Persona Non Grata. We've got honorable mentions of 2021 and the EP of the year. All the way from Mumbai, India, we have Blood Kill with their latest release, Throne of Control. If you guys are a fan of New Wave of Thrash Metal, these guys are a band to check out. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to snag any of their merch, but links for all their social medias, their band camp, and where you can purchase their newest album will be linked down below. Next up, we've got all the way from fucking, oh god, where are they from? I want to say they're from fucking Denmark, but don't kill me if I'm wrong. We've got Asphyx, Necroceros. And pardon my pronunciation if I fucked up. If you like Doomy Death Metal, these are the dudes for you. I was fortunate enough to see a Sphix back at, where was it? Quebec Death Fest 2019, along with Nuclear Assault and a lot of other rad bands. So if you haven't checked out Neil's Sphix, I highly recommend it. Almost pauses their games. Almost pauses Next up, all the way from Ukraine, because Ukraine isn't weak. You not say Ukraine weak. Yeah, well, we're playing a game here, pal. Ukraine is game to you, how about I take your little bonus? We've got Mortal Vision, My Manipulation. If you guys are a fan of old school thrash metal, these are the guys for you to check out. This is also one of the reasons why this video took so long. Given everything that's happening overseas in the Ukraine, I didn't want to do anyone dirty. Made sure we got a fucking cassette, got a brand new t-shirt too. Fan of old school thrash metal? Go check them out. Now, no surprise here, Cannibal Corpse released a brand new album with Eric Bruton. You might know him from Hate Eternal, you might know him from Morbid Angel. You catch him on the latest Cannibal Corpse release, Violence Unimagined. The guys are pushing 50, even 60 years old, and they're still killing death metal, and they're number one in the world at doing it. I don't have any of their merch, but I have plenty of Cannibal Corpse merch at home. If you guys want to check them out, we have a link in the description down below for everything. Next up for honorable mentions, my boys and knife. If you're a fan of speedy black and thrash metal, these dudes are for you. Not only do we get a dank fucking fat patch, got a dope fucking full length as well. My favorite tunes on this are The Furnace and I Am The Priest. The Fine Lads gave me a lot of free giveaway stuff. There's a couple stickers here. There's a, a shit ton of knife flyers. And if you pre-order any one of the new jerseys that are on www.thrash.ca, that's the hockey jersey and the basketball jersey, we'll be sure to include a little goodie here from Knife in your order. Now, all the way from Ontario, my boy Dean Paul Arnold from Primal Frost and Belphegor formerly of Vital Remains. This is an awesome, awesome individual. He's one of the most talented musicians in the Toronto area. He is behind the vocals, guitars, bass, and drums of this album. This is all this man's creation. Lost Elegies is his latest release. I fucking love this album. And just because it's in an honorable mention doesn't mean you should fucking sleep on this album. Nomad and Stormbearer are two of my favorite tracks on here. Include a link in the description down below. Now, on to the EPs of the year. All the way from California, IA, we have Iron Front with Flayed Alive. You may have heard of them from the previous channel. You may have heard me talk about them on stream before. These dudes are young bucks and are killing it at fucking thrash and death metal. If you guys have the opportunity to go catch them in California or on the road, highly recommend you do so. Link in the description down below where you can see them. And for EP of the year, the homegrown, the agonist, days before the world wept. This is arguably my most spun record of 2021. I was fortunate enough to see them in Brutal Montreal 2021. Immaculate Deception, this is the second song on this album. The breakdown at the end of it, you know that meme? That freshly shaved? That was literally me in the car listening to this breakdown. I fucking deadlift to this record. I fucking, I do everything. I grease biscuits. I get pumped to hockey listening to this. I can't say enough good about this album. Every musician on this fucking album kills. The homegirl, Vicky Sarakis, the number one olive oil on the face of the planet. We got you on this album. Fucking album EP of the year. Go check it out. Agonist, Days Before the World Wept. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's an EP or an honorable mention that was not on my list that you think I should check out, let us know in the comment box down below. Be sure to hit up www.thrash.ca. We have pre-orders running now. All pre-orders come with free knife goodies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Click like if you like this video. Mosh that fucking subscribe button. Tell all your friends this is the home for all your dank good thrash TV. We'll see you next time.